there, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing micro spikes. So my review is of my micro spikes that I bought off of Amazon. I bought the Uge, I believe it's how it's pronounced. It's Y-U-E-D-G-E. -E. They're the universal 18 teeth stainless steel anti-slip ice cleats. I have three pairs of them. Um, I really like them and I'm going to show you a couple things that I really like about them and how they work. Um, they range in price from $16.99 to $21.99 on Amazon. Um, it depends on what color you get and what size you get. Last spring was when I bought my first sets of spikes. Um, I bought myself um, the huge ones and th these are them. Um, they have probably got uh, at least 100 miles, a couple hundred miles. I have no idea how many miles they have on them, but it's quite a bit. So these are the ones that I bought um, spring of 2017. At the same time that I bought those ones, I bought my husband a pair that were not the huge. They were just another off-brand. They came in this bag. Um, I saved them because sometimes my um, daughter's boyfriend comes with us, and if he comes, then I give him these because they're kind of better than nothing. But I don't know if you can see this. Here we have rust. So we took these out once and like immediately they started to rust. Um, I don't remember the brand that these ones were, but after I saw what happened to these ones, when I decided to go back and get another set for my husband and I got another set for myself, um, cause I was gonna give my daughter these ones, I went and definitely bought the huge ones again. So as you can see, there is actually a big difference between um, the ones that you are getting off of Amazon. Uh, these ones, like I said, one time out, I hang them to dry and it started to rust up immediately. And once they were rusted, the next time my husband put them on, they broke. So big difference between the different brands that you're getting on Amazon. So here I have the huge ones that I bought last spring and the um, non-brand ones that I bought last spring. So basically, these are definitely a winner. Um, these are great little micro spikes. So when I went back and bought them again, they had them in orange. So I went ahead and purchased them in orange. Um, I kind of like that uh, because if you drop them in the snow or, you know, they're someplace in the dark, you can see them a little easier than the black ones. So I bought two sets, one set for my husband and one set for myself in orange. And then my daughter uses these ones um, in black. So here you can see how they go on the boot. Um, this is my well-loved Vasque boot. Um, I bought it at the Labor Day sale at REI. I absolutely love these if you're looking for a really comfortable, waterproof ladies boot. Um, they were super cute when I bought them. They've got a couple hundred miles on them, so they're, they're well-loved. So these are really easy to put on. You just line the toe bar up with the top of your toe, kind of pull the rubber down around. It has a little grippy guy right here. Pull that up and around nice and snug. Um, they also come with a extra little Velcro straps. Um, I don't use those. I find that they stay on just fine like this. Um, when they come to you, they come in a nice little bag if you wanna keep them in there for storage. And then they also come with a little stuff sack, carry sack. Um, so if I'm going out and I know I'm gonna be using them, I'll grab a little carabiner, carabine, the tow bars, and then I'll just hook that to my waist strap on my backpack. The nice part about this that is, is they're right there, they're ready as soon as I decide that I want them on the trail. And then when I decide I don't want them on the trail, I do the exact same thing, hook them back on my waist strap or any loop that I have in the back of the backpack, and then they can kind of get dry. When I get home from the trail, I have a hook in the garage and I hang them up to dry in the garage on the garage wall. So if you've never tried micro spikes, they make a huge difference when you're out on the trail. Uh, I use them pretty much um, anytime that there's snow, ice, anytime I don't wanna feel like I'm a little bit unsteady, I put them on. I don't only use them for ice, I use them for compact snow, for ice. And if I have them on and the trail is snow, ice, mud, rocks, I'll leave them on the whole entire time. So as you can see here, these have had a lot of mileage on them. They still are nice and sharp. Um, they work so good and they give you so much stability in any sort of snowy or icy conditions. A little story about these. Um, we were actually out uh, one day up Highway 2 and they closed the pass so we weren't able to get over. So we just kind of decided to meander around and see what we could see. There wasn't uh, much that was open. It was snowing pretty heavy 
We stopped on the side of the road. I have all wheel drive and studs on my car. <laughs> We went and walked around by the river and just killed a little bit of time. When we, got, when we got back to the car, we got in and we were stuck. Um, we were barely off the road. We were totally surprised. We've never been stuck before because like I said, we do have all wheel drive and studs and we spend a good amount of our time in Montana. So we have tons of snow. We should know how to drive in it and we do know how to drive in it. We are prepared, um, but for whatever reason, we got stuck. These spikes are what got us out, believe it or not. My husband, he's a pretty big guy, about 6'1", 225. He got behind the car and was pushing while I was in the driver's seat and we were not budging. A really nice guy stopped and he was pushing and we were not budging. So I'm sure that the manufacturer does not suggest that you do this, but I'm just gonna tell you, this is how we got out. I told my husband, hey, uh, maybe try the micro spikes. And he was like, uh, what? And I said, try the micro spikes. I mean, either we do that or we're gonna have to call a tow truck. So he did, he took these and he threw them down. I believe he said he threw them down in front of the tires, spike side up. Um, he was kind of worried about them puncturing the tire, but like I said, we were stuck. We were out of cell service anyways. Um, it was just kind of a last ditch effort. He threw those down. I was in the driver's seat and we pulled right out. It was, it was pretty cool. And here they are. You can see we use them as a traction device for our car and there we're still using them. Um, I was kind of like, you know, even if they get damaged, oh well, they were like 16 bucks. If they get us out of here, that's worth it. But they got us out, we didn't have to call a tow truck, and we are still using them. So basically what I want to tell you is these are great micro spikes. They um, are between 16 and $20, I think, a total bargain. I have three pairs of them and I would not hesitate to buy another pair. I probably will buy another pair to replace these for um, when my daughter's boyfriend does come along with us. Check them out, I think you'll be really happy with them. I know I have. Um, compared to some of the K brand ones out there that you know are up around 80 bucks, super deal. I'm gonna put the link in the description box down below. Also, down below in the description box, you'll find my links for my Instagram and my Facebook. Thanks for watching guys, happy hiking, and I'll see you on the trail.